Hi everyone, welcome back for another tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to talk about bokeh. Yes, uh, we can get it stripped in the camera, but we can fake it in Photoshop. And CS6, Photoshop CS6 is just amazing for this. And uh, I'm going to show you exactly. So, we've got the this lovely girl, and we have this photo of uh, this lovely plane. plane. Uh, nothing to do with the girl, but let's change that. So, I'm going into filter going to blur and field blur and as you can see I've got a bit of a blur in here and you can change the blur right here inside where this circle is and you can move the position but not in this case but you could move the position of the, the blur as well but I'm going to, for now I'm just going to add a bit of blur something like so and now right here on the panel I'm going to bring it here so you can see right here I want to add some to lighten up the bokeh as you can see something is happening already I'll just go like so and actually I'm going to add a bit more blur so yeah I'm getting there I'm going to add some color to around 40% something like that I think it should be okay around 39 so let's bring this up and as you can see we've got a bokeh let me or bokeh your call how you want to I'm going to get a bit more blur something like so yeah it's okay it's not bad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click OK and uh, Photoshop will apply the blur to the image uh, in a second any second now so now I want to blend this well, the blur once it's done with the uh, with the girl well we could as it's on a white background we could just get the magic wand uh, just get magic wand for instance or select color and just select the white and then drop I'm going to show you actually okay we could do this something like so we could do this and then come here but it looks terrible right so I'm going to show you a nice cool way to blend these images together which is going to blending mode and let's change to multiply what you reckon looks cool let's see what overlay does doesn't do much but as you can see you get it here on her uh, soft light nope but let's do something else so let's change blending mode back again to normal let's duplicate this layer of the girl bring it up so it's now sitting on top of this bouquet and change the blending mode to multiply look at that very very cool as you can see there are so many possibilities uh, but now going to normal and I can also fake it with a brush and a friend of mine asked me about if I knew how to do it and I did say yes and we have a brush as you can see bokeh it's not the same thing but uh, for instance it works it can work depending on the photo pretty well so I'm going into my brush panels and I'm going to show you exactly what I've got so basically uh, the brush tip shape normally it should be around zero uh, in here I just spaced quite a lot uh, I would say probably around 250 something like that 270 let me see the spacing is cool and then we have the shape dynamics in here the size jitta it's around 15 percent because as you can see um, on this preview right here the further you go the more uh, size varies so I'm going to show you as you can see varies quite a lot the sizes of the bokeh and we don't want that because normally a bokeh 
it sticks to just about the same size it still varies quite a bit but so I'm going to 23 yeah this should be okay I don't remember how it was before but it should be okay and now so in here on the shape dynamics I'll just change size jitter and the control now I'm using a mouse so I'm, uh, I would control off I didn't check that yeah it's cool and scattering. Scattering basically is how much it spreads. So as you can see, you can see a preview right here. And we have how much it scatters, and then we have the both axes. So how further apart it goes, I'm going just to like so so you can see. So I'm going to remove the scatter, and as you can see nothing happens. I'm just going to click once right here and I'm hold shift so it's just straight line. So as you can see just it's just giving the spacing that we've done right here so it's only focusing on the spacing so we go to scattering so if we go all the way up and we click just once and I'm going to hold shift and click so it would normally be a straight line we click and as you can see it varies it's not a straight line and then you can do both axes and you'll see I'm going to click once as you can see it just varies a lot more and then we have a texture I just grabbed any texture this can ship with the um, Photoshop I just looked in here and we want I invert it and uh, I changed the sub to subtract so it's kind of subtracts mode in here with the girl and uh, color dynamics and this is very important as well so as you can see I'm just using this blue bluish color I'm going to something like so okay and I'm going as you can see varies a lot the color and that this is why because of the hue jitter so basically uh, Photoshop is going through the hue around the, this color and the further you go the more it varies the color so but I like to keep it around 50 percent and the rest I just leave it as it is and then we have the transfer transfer it's like um, a bit like a marker pen in real life when when you and this is what I've done. I just do a the jitter and the flow jitter around 50% uh, to get get that soft sort of uh, feel to it. And then we've got the smoothing. Do I need the smoothing? Yeah, just one click on the smoothing. And there you go. We have a bokeh brush, or we have a. Uh, bokeh done with the just in this image what cool is that thank you for watching and I'll see you next time bye for now